Hey everybody, this is Rusty again with Collector Auctions. I have got a brand new CGC unboxing to go through. It is half of a larger order. Uh, I will do another video following up with the other half of this, but it was a 50 book submission. This is the first 25. I've got the box right here. So we don't want to keep the video going too long. So we'll just do the first 25 and then the next video we'll do the next 25. Uh, before we get going, I want you all to remember to hit the like button. Uh, if you like this kind of content, um, make sure you subscribe so you can see new videos coming out. I've got several orders that have come back in. I will be doing videos for all of those over the next couple days. So there's going to be a lot of content the next couple days. Uh, I've got some really good books, some, uh, some older things, mostly Bronze Age, uh, moderns, lots of moderns. Uh, we're specking on a lot of them. A lot of them are going to go into the PC. But uh, anyway, here we go. Let's start with this one right here. Okay, so everybody knows how I do this. I usually open these boxes up as soon as they get home. Uh, my wife gets to see everything first. She gets to see my reaction uh, until I can get these videos better edited. This is the way I'm going to do it. Uh, she will be the one person who gets to see my excitement over a shocking grade because I don't look at the grades before they come in. Well, except for one. It was the very last one of all of these orders. I knew that it was a pre-screen 9.8 and I couldn't kind of wait. So I kind of wanted to see where it was and I figure out what book wasn't graded. That's beside the point. This right now is about this video right here so let's get going okay the first book in this submission was New Avengers number 26 now I don't think there's anything too significant about this issue it's a great Scarlet Witch solo story if I remember the story line about at the time this came out after she sort of came back in to the MCU with um, going through her spell of madness. And this was an interesting story with her and Hawkeye. Wonderful artwork. I have worked on this book just like I've actually worked on all these books. Uh, I've learned how to press, clean and press my own books. I'm still learning. Every day is a new experience. Every, new, every comic is a new challenge. And... This wasn't in terrible condition, but it did need a clean and press, uh, mostly just a press. I worked out a few minor spine ticks with, I'd use a tacking iron to work that out, then I put it in for a press, uh, basically a quick press on this. It, went, it didn't go more than a couple hours. So, anyway, here we go with Vendors number 26, a 9.8. All right. The next book is Spectacular Spider-Man 200. Now, this has some wonderful Sal Bushima artwork. He's one of my favorite artists of all time. I actually own uh, a lot of pages from Sal, from a lot of his earlier work from Incredible Hulk, and from his Captain America run back from the early 70s. And at some point, if you're interested, I'll do a video and I'll show off some of that artwork. But for right now, this is... Issue 200 from his run on Spectacular Spider-Man. It is a showdown with the Green Goblin. If I remember correctly, it was uh, the death of Harry Osborn at the time. I think we just had the another death by Harry Osborn in the latest Spider-Man run. But anyway, I've got a 9.8 on this. This book was in really good shape. It had a little bit of spine, I wouldn't say damage, but creasing around the staples up here on the around this staple. I uh, did a little bit of work on the spine and then I put it in for a press and then here we go, 9.8. All right, this was an interesting book. This is a book that was in the collection that I remember getting, I was collecting all these Spider-Man books at the time. This is 1995 Amazing Spider-Man Super special from 1995. 
just a very interesting uh, cover with Venom and Spider-Man, and we have the Planet of uh, Symbiotes, part one. It is a very tough issue to deal with because all of the teeth, the eyes on the planet are in this metallic gray. And if anybody knows anything about the metallic on comics like that, the least little finger drag, if your uh, fingernail, excuse me, he touches it, drags across it, anything, it will leave a streak. And I've been pretty unsuccessful figuring out how to get those kind of creases out of that silver. This one is actually fairly clean, uh, but it was enough of a little bit of an area in there that I was a little questionable about. That's why I didn't put it into a pre-screen pre submission. Uh, this submission right here is not a pre-screen. It was just, it is what it is. And it did have a little bit of spine damage on the side. Uh, nothing color breaking. I, again, a cl clean and press on that and worked it out 9.8 on this. This is, and I guess I've looked up the values on this book and it's pretty, it can be pretty expensive, but I, I don't know. I don't think see enough sales record to really get an accurate gauge in that. If anybody knows what a good value on this book is at a 9.8, I'd love you to let me know. Leave a comment in the uh, comments section. Um, I'd appreciate that. All right. Everybody's been used to me doing a lot of Marvel books. Very few DCs, but we've got a DC book here. A very modern DC book. This is Nightwing number 78. If I'm... I don't really read this, but I know enough to know I believe this was the issue that introduced Robin's sister. Uh, she's the mayor of the town he operates in. Again, I don't follow the comic well enough to know that. But what's interesting about this book is I, during last month, as a, in my travels, I was stopping at Walmarts and picking up the value packs that Marvel was putting out in Walmarts, trying to find some of these rare variants and everything. But in doing so, they've got DC Comics right next to it and well, let's go through it. I hadn't heard anything about anybody pulling anything valuable, but as I'm thumbing through the packs of DC books, this is the front book on one of the packs. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, that couldn't be that, could it? So I, uh, I ended up getting it. I've got ended up with two copies of this. Both issues had significant spine damage. I didn't think it was color breaking, but I worked and I worked to get those spine ticks out. All of those packs really seem to suffer from people thumbing through it and pulling the top. And you've, you'll get a lot of spine ticks, especially right here at the top. Uh, the way they're cellophane wrapped, you'll end up with some blunting on the corners. There can be all kinds of damage. Anyway, I worked on this book. I'm really happy with my abilities with the pressing right now. This one, I pulled a 9.8 out of this. I don't think it would have... It wouldn't even come close to a 9.8 otherwise. All right, everybody. This book right here is a book that was in my collection. I... Just kind of sitting there. I never really thought much about it. The artwork was really wonderful. But it wasn't my Avengers. I grew up with, you know, much older Avengers. This right here, Young Avengers number one. And as you can see, I've got a 9.8 on this. This book was in fairly rough shape. A lot of these books are actually in rough shape. So if I'm repeating myself, I apologize. But I worked this book and I worked this book. And I'm sure I pressed this several times because I wasn't happy with it. I wasn't happy with the progress. I'm working out. I'm working out of letting it, pressing it, cold pressing it, pulling it out, looking at the spine ticks that I was still seeing, working those out again. Let's put it into a moisture bath. Let's put it back into the press. And I'm not, I probably should keep track of these a little bit better. Uh, what's my process? It's, I know what my process is, but it's how many times do I have to do the process? And if that's the case, do I have to refine the process so I don't have to do it as many times? There's a lot of questions in that. But be that as it may, 
I pulled a 9.8 out of this, and this book right here is hot. So if anybody is actually interested in this book, uh, contact me on the links that I leave in my description on the video on the channel, and we can talk about it. But right there, 9.8 on Avengers, new, excuse me, Young Avengers number one. All right. This right here is my earliest copy of a book with Moon Knight's appearance. This is Marvel Spotlight number 29. I is this a second appearance or third appearance? It's pretty early. Wasn't the first appearance, but it's really early. It's before Moon Knight number one, obviously. I think that's Jack Kirby artwork on the cover, too. Really early appearance. It was a just a book I'd picked up uh, probably back in the 90s sometime when I was picking up a lot of Bronze Age type books. Just sitting there in the collection, I ran across it. I'm going, that looks in pretty good shape. There are definitely some spine ticks along the edge. It wasn't in rough shape, but it was definitely some color, color breaking spine ticks. It could use some help. So I ended up pulling that out, and I've said, you know what, this is one of my lower, earliest books. Let's work on it. Let's see what we can get. This is a perfect submission to try this out on. Anyway, it came out. It's really nice. It presents beautifully. 9.0 was probably a little disappointing. I was, you're always hoping for something better, but 9.0 on this is really good. All right. So as much as I've been talking about my ability to clean and press and pull some really good 9.8s out already, I've got a couple here that I was a little disappointed on. I wasn't expecting a 9.8, but boy, was I hoping for a 9.6 at the very least. The I've got two copies of this coming up, but I, I'm i still looking over it. I, I'm contemplating getting the greater notes on these just to see what they are. I don't know if it's going to be worth cracking them open. I don't think there's enough money in there to crack them open, work on them again, send them back in, just for what could possibly only be a gr one great jump at the most. But I've got two copies of this right here. This is Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number three. It's the first appearance of Titania, the, I guess the second Titania technically, but it's the one that we're going to see in the new She-Hulk show. She's She-Hulk's, I guess, number one nemesis um, in this, just a wonderful issue. I mean, everybody loves, I think everybody loves uh, the Secret Wars, the first one here, beautiful Mike Zek artwork. Anyway, as I said, I've got, I got a 9.4 on this on the first one and a 9.4 on the second one. Uh, it was highly disappointing. Now what's good about this is that it still has some value even at this grade and I do have, I believe I still have copies of this in because I had multiple copies of this. I've got this in at in some of my earlier submissions to CGC that are still at CGC. And I think I have them working on it. So maybe I can pull some better results from those. But 9.4 on two copies of Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars number three. All right. This issue, I don't know where I got it. I have no idea. I don't have any recollection of where I got this book. I don't know where it came from. But it's in my collection. But it's basically, this is Spider-Man 375. The Italian edition. And I looked at this and I'm going, wow, this is actually in really good shape. I've and I'd actually submitted some English version, American regular ver editions of 375. They're still at CGC. But I sent this one in, did a little press on this. I didn't do have to do a lot of work, and we pulled a 9.8 on this. So that's an interesting piece to have in somebody's collection. Now, this was another case of, I'm not sure what happened. I think it could have pulled slightly better, but I'm going to have to examine it a lot closer. But this was Avengers number, a new Avengers, excuse me, Young Avengers number six. 
Got a 9.4 on that. Again, there's some value at this grade. This issue, I think there's, is there a first appearance? Is this the first cover appearance of the new Hawkeye? I'm not sure uh, exactly. Is it, again, this was not my Avengers. This is my, my children's Avengers. But pulled a 9.6, or excuse me, 9.4 in this. Uh, I'm still pretty happy with it. As I said, there's some value in it. And there you go. All right, this one right here, I didn't expect a 9.8. I pretty much got what I expected. But what I'm proud of is how much I work to get this. In my previous video, I talked about the spawn number one that I worked and I reworked and I probably worked two or three more times to get that 9.8. This one I worked and worked and worked, and it is a tough black cover. Tough. And it had some creases here and there. And boy, is it just tough. But it's infamous Iron Man number one. And Dr. Doom becomes the new Iron Man. If anybody knows this issue, you know how tough this black cover is. But I'm real proud of the fact that I was able to pull this out. Again, it would not have got that grade without the amount of work I put into it. But real happy with this, 9.6. All right, this one, I'm not sure what the damage exactly is. I'm probably going to have to pay to figure it out. But my guess is that it's one of those polybag books yes there is you can see a little bit of a line it's as faint as can be but it's there and i have to imagine that is what brought this down but it is the ultimate comics all new spider-man number one 9.4 miles morales and the only reason i'm not too upset with this is i don't think i could have done much more with this it is presents beautifully uh but i was i would have hoped for at least a 9.8 or some forgiveness to even pull a 9.8 who knows i don't see any other significant damage on this book uh, i pressed it i try to spend enough enough time with every book i do to make sure that i'm not shooting on a lot of these I, i'm looking as i'm picking these out i'm trying to get 9.8s on every one of these if I don't feel like it's going to be there, at least I know. Like that Moon Knight, that's Marvel Spotlight. I knew that wouldn't be a 9.8. There were color-breaking spine ticks. I tried to make that book as good as possible. This one, I guess it was the same idea, but I certainly expected a lot better than a 9.4. But there it is, 9.4 in, in the collection. All right, this one right here, again... I'm not sure. Maybe I didn't spend enough time with it. I've looked over it a little bit. Maybe there's some spots on the spine that I could have used a tack iron a little bit more and gotten those just a couple of these little spots out. Maybe my guess is I looked at it and I looked at it too quick. Maybe the there's some other things on here. I'm not too sure, but it's a pretty big book. Amazing Spider-Man 361. I got a 9.6 on it. Now, I've got two more copies in at CGC. They are actually doing the cleaning and pressing on those. This one I had held back and did the cleaning and pressing myself. I don't know if that's going to cost me, but there may be enough value between a 9.6 and a 9.8, even with the book dropping in value recently, to check it out, open this up, Recleaning and resubmit it. We'll consider that. But for right now, 9.6 is really good on this. There's a lot of value in this. So for the moment, that's in my collection. All right, uh, this came, this was uh, Spider Man number, number nine. It is a Wolverine appearance, Todd McFarlane artwork. Clean and pressed. I wasn't. It was in great shape to begin with. There wasn't a lot of work I had to do in this one. A lot of these Spider-Man issues of McFarlane's, I'm not sure, but it seems like a lot of them on the back has, they're all a little dirty. 
So I do, have gotten into making sure that I really check out the dirt that might appear on the back covers especially. Try to clean that as best I can. Uh, there's plenty of great videos out there for people who want to learn how to do that. It, it's not that hard. I'm still learning and um, not just learning new techniques, but well, learning and growing from the one the experiences the uh, techniques that I'm using but also learning new techniques so very happy with that 9.8 also from that run was Sp Spider-Man number five and it's probably one of the most beautiful McFarland Spider-Mans I believe it's a story with the lizard Spider-Man is just getting torn up just a beautiful copy. Uh, this one, I'm not sure what the reason for the 9.6 was, but there's a, probably a couple spots. I think this one might have had a little bit of color rub on the back cover. It's a, it's a solid. It's a little hard to see. It's a little hard to see there. Uh, it's a very solid color cover. So any kind of crease. That color breaking at all might show up. I don't really see anything, but I, there, I definitely there's no value into regrading, breaking that one open and redoing it. So it, it's going to stay where it is. Nine point six. All right. So I mentioned before that I went and did a run of Walmart's picking up a lot of these value packs. I ended up with a good handful of things that had some value to it, and. The next three are all the same thing. It's not books so valuable that you're going to retire on, obviously, but uh, it, it had some value. It had some uh, people were were interested in this, but it's uh, I'll just show it to you. It's Spider-Man number number fifty-five, the Patrick Leeson, one of the web heads. This is the the white version. This is the second printing. But on all three of these, I all three of them had spine tick damage. I don't think anything was color breaking, but I got 9.6s on all three. All three of these, 9.6. And I that's the time when I start questioning my ability to do things. Maybe I rush things a little too much sometimes. Maybe I need to pay a little bit more attention. But it was disappointing that I didn't pull a 9.8 on one of these. But as it is, it's very nice. All right, as I start to go through my collection and pull out books that have a little bit of value, as long as you have good grades on them, I pulled out a, another copy of X-Men number one. The Jim Lee, Chris, excuse me, Chris, Chris Claremont series. This is the Magneto cover. Book was in great shape to begin with. Nothing that a quick press wouldn't make better. So that's what I did with this one. 9.8 on that. They'd had no damage on the spine at all. Very happy to have that. All right, this one I'm a little surprised at that I got a 9.8, and I'll tell you why. But it is something skilling children number nine. For anybody seen my collection, they this is probably the is this the first book, maybe the second time I've had one of these books in my run of videos. Uh, I got into the series way too late, missed the boat on it completely. There's so many things that you can collect on and your reading and everything and what can I say I missed the boat completely and I went back at a little show here in Maryland here about a couple months ago they had a run I picked up some variant covers and some back issues I think this is the oldest oldest regular cover back issue that I picked up and I think it was I think it was four four dollars at the time but there's a spot right over here that is that color breaking is that part of the art it seems really like that's a problem but i cleaned and pressed it and if it hadn't been for that spot i would have put this into a 9.8 submission pre-screen instead of this order because 
Luckily, there's value in this even at a little bit lower of a grade. But a 9.8, that's it's that much better. I, I honestly couldn't believe that's 9.8 on that. But beautiful book, great grade. Also, from some of my previous submissions, you probably saw some of the Marvel Comics Presents that I've been starting to send in. I've been working on the whole series. I pulled a 9.8 on issue 73. I pulled a 9.6 on issue 84. This is the Marvel Comics Presents Weapon X program. Now this issue, this is issue 74. I got a 9.6 on that. I thought we were, it was better than that. I will go back and take a look again and see what I missed. But at there's not enough value probably to pull it out of the slab at this point. So right now this is going to stay at a 9.6, but it is a beautiful copy of this. I mean, who doesn't love the Barry Windsor Smith artwork on, on this? All right. So the last four that I have here, if you're not already tired of me talking about what I think, how good I have gotten on the cleaning and pressing. These books had damage. Not horrible damage. Luckily, it wasn't color breaking, but it was, it was, I, I pulled them back from the brink. And the first one was New Avengers number seven, the first appearance of the Illuminati. And if anybody knows anything watching the MCU and hearing the stories, you know they're going to feature them in some incarnation at some point. But this was the first issue with that in there. I pulled 9.8 on this. Unbelievable. I couldn't believe what that I got this on this. There's not a lot of value if you get anything other than 9.8 on this. I had I didn't think I'd pull a 9.8 to be honest. I thought a 9.6. There's enough money in it if I sold it I'd I'd be fine. But at a 9.8 this is actually pretty valuable now. So, very happy with that. All right, this one right here was, I had multiple copies of this. Everybody knows this. It's Spider-Man 252. First appearance of the black costume, who was later leads to being Venom. I pulled 9.6 on this. I worked, and I worked this book. That was a, luckily it wasn't color breaking on the spine. It was, it was creased. It had been worn. I most of these I've read. Most of these books I've read at least once. I've touched. I didn't was even though I'm buying multiple copies. I'm still touching and working with almost every book. So to get a 9.6 on this, I am extremely happy. Uh, just a beautiful copy of this. Uh, who who wouldn't want this in their collection, right? So a 9.6. All right, I have two books left. This one right here was the crowning achievement of pulling something back, as I said, from the brink. This was Mark Spector, Moon Knight, number 57. It, with a Spider-Man appearance, it's got the homage cover on the front. Uh, I was not a fan of this book. I wasn't a fan of the artwork. It's, it's very 90s. It's very, everybody looks like they're on steroids. But there is some big value to this book and I pulled it out of the collection I'm looking at it and it had some serious spine ticks along the edge over here and again not comfortable putting this into a submission that was a pre-screen 9.8 or anything I figured a 9.4 9.6 at the most I was hoping for the best but when I pulled this out of the box, I had kind of lost it. 9.8 on this, and it had more to do with the fact that I knew I'd put the labor into this to get this kind of grade. But here we go, 9.8. All right, everybody. The last book I've got here didn't have spine tick damage, but it had some creasing in it. It was a sort of, 
I couldn't tell if it was finger. It wasn't exactly a finger crease, but there was definitely some creasing on the cover and some creasing on the back cover. How it got there exactly like that, I don't know. I always look at some of those kind of faults as it's a in the production process, the paper gets squished somewhere along the way. It wasn't done by me or anybody else touching it. It was, I think it was machine made kind of manu manufacturing type of things, but they still, it was, it looked pretty bad. And the book's valuable enough that I still would have had a good, good value at a lower grade, but at a 9.8, on issue number two of Black Panther number two, first appearance of Suri, is unbelievable. And this right here, I'm so proud. I'm probably more proud of this one than I am the Moon Knight one. But both of those were ones that I had to work, and I worked hard to get this. And pulling 9.8 on this was fantastic. So add to this, add to this to the PC. Very happy to have it. All right, guys, that is it. 25 books. This was half of a larger 50 book order. Uh, if you know anything, if you do these orders like this, uh, CGC will mail back 25 in one box. No matter what the size of the order is, they'll break it down. So there's 25 in this box. I will do the second video a little bit later and I'll show you what was in the other box. I'm sure there's some interesting things in there. They don't come to mind right now. But um, there are some other things I wanted to let you know about this. So the entire order, this was an interesting order. I shipped this to them on September 1st. They received it October 1st. They marked, shipped on their, on the website when you check your status, shipped it on October 6th. I actually received it October 6th. I don't know what's going on. My, uh, I'm starting to understand that CGC is putting out, doing a new process to see if they can get the books done faster. I, I don't know the details in that. I'm sure some there are other videos that can talk more about that. I know that I've the last two orders that I've caught, that have come in now, they are from September and August. And I still have to do the August unboxing, of course. But unbelievably quick. Um, I still have multiple orders out from April, May, June, and July. They're sitting out there. We'll get to those eventually. Hopefully they'll work on them at some point because a lot of them are there for clean and press. But the last, basically the last two orders I sent in over the last two months, they're already back. And one of those came back a week after they actually received it uh, and basically opened up the box. So, very happy about that. That's a big turnaround, big difference. So, anyway, guys, that is it for this video. Um, if you have, like I said, if you like this kind of content, hit the uh, subscribe button, and you'll let, I'll let you know when I have new content put out. Uh, if you like this video, hit like, and please leave a comment. I'd like to hear what you think of my books, and if you're if you're interested in anything, I'm always willing to talk about uh, making a... Tr well, I'm not really into trades, but I will be willing to sell just about any of the books in my collection. So that's about it. Anyway, guys, you all have a good day, and I'll talk.